All right, here's the information processing model we went over during our first Saturday live meeting. And I just wanted to present it to you again to refresh your memory. And I want you to bear this in mind as we're going through this next section. Uh, so if you remember, we start off um, looking at the input. And here we've got stimuli coming in through our five senses. Uh, visual, auditory, olfactory, uh, tactile, and so on. Um, all this external, all these external stimuli uh, enter our sensory register. Um, and um, this is the first point of contact between our mind and brain and the external environment. Um, we, we have to bear in mind that everything in here is controlled by our executive functions. Uh, and most critical of which is um, th the, the connection between what our senses receive and what makes it into our cognitive working space, which is modulated by attention and perception. And those, of course, are influenced by motivation and emotion and... Uh, and um, Perceiving things co correctly and attending to the right things is critical to, to bringing in the right pieces of information into our cognitive working space. Once we've done that, um, we have certain things that make it in there. We can use our cognitive working space to both work on information and um, as, a, as a stepping stone to get it into our long-term memory. Um, if you remember from our session, there were three types of long-term memory. Episodic, which refer to particular episodes in time that you remember from your past. Semantic, which means uh, meaning, so you remember definitions for terms or, or um, what different words mean and uh, facts that you remember and procedural, and that's basically remembering how to do things, how to ride a bike, how to play baseball, and so on. Um, once information makes it into long-term memory, you've acquired that knowledge. Now, some problems can happen, af uh, can happen after that point, but at least you've made it into your long-term memory. Um, to, to actually produce an output to prove that you have this knowledge, uh, the information has to go back to the cognitive workspace, get worked on, and um, then be output in some form. Uh, and again, executive functions are critical here, including motivation and so on. Uh, so this is a quick overview of what we covered on Saturday, and I want you to keep this in mind as we move through uh, the rest of this uh, section.